There are estimated to be over 21 million veterans living in the United States, and 142,000 of them call the great state of Nebraska their home. Supporting veterans and connecting them with good job opportunities is something that the folks at the Nebraska Department of Veterans in Lincoln take very seriously. Let's take a look at this. The Nebraska Department of Labor and Department of Veterans Affairs actively partner with local businesses to encourage the hiring of veterans. My name is Andrew Strasburg. I'm with the Nebraska Department of Labor. I uh, serve with the Jobs for Veterans State Grant. I joined the Army Reserves in 2004. I wanted to be a part of my country's history. I uh, enjoy history and wanted to be a part of going overseas in Iraq. I uh, was in charge of keeping convoy supply lines clear with my fellow gun truckers from base to base in the highways of Iraq. Uh, we were exposed to uh, enemy fire, uh, roadside bombs. David Briley is a former United States Airman who found a new home in Nebraska and a new career at BD. My name is David Briley. I work for Beckman Dickinson in Columbus, Nebraska. I'm a senior staff quality engineer. BD is one of the world's largest medical device manufacturing companies. I have served in the United States Air Force from 1987 to 1990. I was a senior airman. My role in the Air Force was explosive ordnance disposal technician. For Secret Service support, I would go to a site before they, the president or anybody would arrive. I'd sweep the area and render it safe. So I had the honor of uh, meeting Ronald Reagan, sweeping his office. He came in and I had a chance to meet him. Uh, and then George H.W. Bush, I met him at a hotel just briefly, uh, but I had an opportunity to meet them and uh, it, was, it was a great honor. No one understands better than Andrew Strasburg the challenges that many veterans face. He plays a vital role in transitioning our nation's heroes back into civilian life. So I came home in 2010 and uh, tried to get back into school. I tried to get back into work. I, for my own reasons, you know, anxiety and stress, um, you just deal with them like uh, any veteran does, just kind of dealing with it on your own. When I first came on this job, it was a little intense to say the least, you know, trying to help people that are already coming in in crisis mode and they come into my office, they're already homeless or they're about to lose their apartment and they're just destitute. They, they can't even afford food on their table a lot of times. And I just like to tell them, you know, you're not alone. You got people that are wanting to help you, legitimately wanting to help you. Um, I was in a very similar situation, and this is what I did to get out of it. This is what helped me out. But we got to make sure they got somewhere to put their head, and we'll find them those jobs. We make referrals. In a lot of cases, we can get them an uh, interview the next day or the next week. Together, David and Andrew discuss some of the options available for veterans looking to find a new life in Nebraska. Tell me about what the Department of Labor could do for veterans that may have a little bit of a struggle from that transition from, from military to civilian role. You know, in my office, we can help with employment resources, you know, resume, how to job search, how to answer interview questions that you may, may not know how to explain to a civilian employer. Uh, but on the other side of that, the whole other thing, like if you're already low income, you're already near homeless, you're already uh, having trouble with disability or anxiety or, or what have you, there's agencies out there that can help. David and Andrew take some time to appreciate all that Nebraska has to offer. Tell me about Nebraska. What would bring people out to Nebraska? A lot of different terrain if they're interested in the outdoors life. You know, I'd like to do some camping, hunting, and fishing. Uh, I got the sand hills and different wooded areas. Yeah, any particular draws that got you to come back here? Yeah, um, so from the southwest, basically we just had two seasons, hot and really hot. For me, it was nice to have four seasons. Of course, you got the cities of Omaha, Lincoln to explore. We're thrilled to announce alongside Governor Ricketts an investment BD is making across the state of Nebraska that's going to bring in 300 jobs. Every day when I go to work, I see the product on the floor. I see the product being packaged and shipped to our customer. I know our product will have a positive impact on people's lives. We're going to be partnering with the Department of Labor and the Department of Veteran Affairs to fill roughly 300 jobs throughout the state of Nebraska with a strong emphasis on the veteran community. I've had people that are homeless veterans come to Nebraska and they say they found us online because of our record low unemployment and record low veteran un uh, homelessness is, is almost non-existent in this part of the country. You're, just, you're not so much a number, you're not just such a, a sea of humanity, you know, there's, there's fewer people here so you're, you're, you matter more a little bit.